Hey, 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 my wonderful cancers. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're tuning in via Instagram, welcome. If you're tuning in via YouTube, welcome also. All right, so we're doing the wonderful sign of cancers. We're doing your timeless monthly reading, which means whenever you click on this video, if the message resonates, you take what you need and you need what you do not, okay? Uh, if you're cross-watching, I can say this is cancer's energy, but if it feels more like your energy, you want to apply the energy where you feel it fits, okay? Keep in mind, we're going through the four weeks. I'm going to clarify the cards on Patreon, okay? So, the extended version, if you are part of the Patreon community, you can find that there. All right, so, let's start off, my loves. I have pre-shuffled and pre-pulled um, your overall energy, and then we're going to kind of break down what you're going to be tapping into as we move through your energy, okay? Keep in mind, you're starting off the first week with Third Eye Chakra clarity okay now let me just tell you something right now your third eye chakra has to do with your perception your third eye chakra also has to do with your imagination okay um it's also paired with bringing it into form as your message your sacred oracle message now let me just tell you something there's nothing that you cannot create or bring into form once you're clear about where you need to go and how you need to get there okay so um you got third eye chakra energy popping off for the first week and that means that you are going to have to pay attention to how you perceive things moving throughout this first week your perception is going to be key especially when it comes to codependencies where you can't forgive or things that you feel like um keeps you bind because of unforgiveness or um um, um, or um, not able to release the pain or the disappointment, okay? So you can find some things coming into clarity where uh, you're going to ask to accept some things, to forgive some things so you can move past um, some things this week, okay? You do want to pay attention, however, to um, hidden motives, hidden agendas popping off this month, okay? Um, not only others, but also your own, especially because you're dealing with codependency and with things coming into clarity this week. You want to pay attention to not just other people People's hidden motives but you also want to pay attention to your own agenda okay why are you doing the things you do are you doing something to get a reaction okay that's going to be important as you're moving throughout my love um this first week okay um, that is important because you're going to find some things may be out of balance within relationships this first week. Some things you may not be on the same page with someone um pay attention to the synchronicities okay you want to pay attention to the synchronicities, especially when you feel you're not in alignment with somebody else. That could be due to maybe some type of third-party situation or some type of interjection from outside um, forces, okay? Now, third-party situation is paired with the Ace of Cups energy, so that lets me know, um, yeah, um, and it got the Knight of Wands. So somebody is definitely operating on some frustration and, um, I want to say, um, hasty energy here. Uh, we're going to clarify this in the end. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody might have took somebody's advice about something that's going on um, in a haste and not really sat and talked or thought about it. They just reacted. All right. Um, you want to be mindful as to your codependencies and not to do that fuck fight energy moving into the first week. Okay. Pay attention to your codependencies. You want to pay attention to your, your emotions. You want to pay attention to your emotions, okay, as we're moving throughout this energy this month, my wonderful cancers, all right? By the second week, you got heart chakra going on. Heart chakra is all about forgiveness, acceptance, love, trust, compassion, all of those things that makes you feel alive or, or, or triggered you emotionally um, is what you need to be mindful of when we're paying attention to your heart chakra. This week is asking you to step into a place of forgiveness, okay? Um it says seeing the true you is going to be necessary and sometimes you think forgiveness is needed so somebody you know to make somebody feel better or if you forgive somebody that means that they get away with something can i tell you that is not what forgiveness is all about okay forgiveness is not about someone getting away with something forgiveness is so you can heal second week you're being asked to forgive okay and this could be forgiving yourself this does not necessarily have to do with forgiving someone else especially if you are dealing with the codependencies and the things within the issue all right you got 
got the high priestess energy back again um, this second week, okay? This time she's not in reverse. This time is definitely paying attention to your intuition as you're moving throughout this energy. And it's paying attention to your intuition as you're moving throughout this energy and organizing and putting things in the proper perspective of where they need to be. Which means you don't want to give too much of your energy, your energy to any one thing or one person that does not serve you, okay? There is a place of security that you, you need to step into and transformation is happening and the transformation was pointing towards the past so this could have been a transformation that has been um knocking at your door for a really long time and because you have not faced the codependency things or dealt with the codependency within the relationship because you may not be the one that's codependent okay you may be an enabler to the codependent shit um but um it's transformation happening, especially as you begin to pay attention to your intuition and bring the things in your life that needs to be balanced, okay? You are going to have to be mindful of that moving into the second week, okay? Something is coming up where you're going to have to transform and move the way you do things and operate in forgiveness. Know that, all right? Now, as we are moving throughout the third week, you know, personal power, a.k.a. solar plexus, chakra is popping up here. And the message with that is the perfection of your life. Mm. Ain't this a beautiful pair? Personal power and the perfection of a life pair together. Okay, so let me just tell y'all right now about this solar um, plexus chakra. This is where your ego and your will rules. Okay, so this is the gateway to the powers that be of you. In your self-confidence, in your inner strength, okay, in your personal power, this is where you can um, create limits and limitations for yourself, okay? Um, this is where you can follow your ego or your will. Your ego sets limits. And limitations and your will lets you know that there's a limitless abundance and apply supply in which we all operate and dwell from okay let me just tell y'all i have been doing my noko ono um prayer daily now just you know randomly where i feel the need to anytime anything pops up that does not feel balanced that's where i go um and if i can be honest with you it helps i woke up the kids like oh my gosh you're so happy yeah i am okay be in this world but not of this world okay third week in okay you got wheel of fortune popping up saying that things are about to change by the third week in as you tap into your personal power the king of wands is showing up saying that yeah you want to step into your boss shit okay you gonna step into your bullshit okay you stepping into your bullshit okay um yep see you do have capricorn the devil card in reverse right now saying that you're about to reclaim your power you were stepping into your personal power by the um by the third week so you do need to be mindful of that okay um mm -hmm. taking back your power yep um, and this could be done something, you may be sending a text message or you could be receiving a text message, something via text message or some type of electronic communication could trigger um, this whole um, unfolding within the third week, really, okay? Um, you do maybe have energy that you are interacting with that can be really rigid my way or the highway. If you're not going to do it my way, then it's going to be the highway, okay? Somebody is really going to be tapping into their personal power, maybe shutting somebody down by the third week, okay? Fourth week in, you got thought shock with life purpose. You were clearly communicating your haves and your have-nots at this point, okay? And life purpose is also paired with listening for the truth. Ooh, honey. This means that you're going to have some real talk communication. Some feelings may get hurt within this process here. Popping on over to... Um, Popping on over here to the fourth week, okay? I kind of feel like the truth is going to come out in somebody's feelings. Um, could it potentially get hurt here, okay? Yep, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yep, we do have Empress Energy showing up in reverse, which means something is not working. Something is at a standstill. There's something, um, projection. So projection also could be somebody, um, you know, projecting their bullshit on you. Um, this could also have to do with somebody getting a lot of options and a lot of opinions from other people. There's a lot of other people feeling like they're in the mix by the fourth week. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. I want to say this. Okay. We having some changes coming in here by the fourth week. Somebody is definitely um, having a some type of tower moment by the fourth week because the truth is coming out. Okay. Um, 
I want to say um, be prepared for some type of um, chaotic, I want to say, uh, communication going on um, by the fourth week. But if you are tapping in and you're listening to the truth, you can gain a lot of clarity and understanding. Mm. See? You got the justice card showing up, but the justice card is in reverse, which means you're going to have to listen for the truth because somebody may approach you with something and it may be just their own self-projections or you may approach somebody with something and be your self-projection. You need to pay attention to the truth as it unfolds within the first week, okay? Um, sometimes it's not what somebody says, okay? Um, there is words or you can hear within there's the you know there's so many sounds within the silence and there you can gather so much information from what people say and what they don't say right so by the fourth week you want to pay attention to what people are not saying okay um yep somebody's going to be coming out with the truth yeah the truth shall shut your feet somebody the truth is going to come out all right the truth will come out that's what i'm pretty sure your thing is going to be called the truth will come out okay all right my lovelies i want to thank you guys so much my wonderful cancers for joining me now if you're hopping over to patreon we're going to kind of clarify some of this energy um and kind of figure out what the truth is right um if you are not uh know that overall you want to trust yourself your perception is going to be key operating forgiveness and love you're tapping back into your personal power you're going to get some communication at the end of the month that is probably going to rock worlds um but you're ahead of the game okay the one wisdom card that popped out for you is a love card all right um and I, i'm sorry the play card which is heart chakra energy so you want to be light don't hold on don't be heavy be playful, okay? Laugh a lot. Let things go that you can't control. You want to release those things as you are moving throughout this energy in this month. Because the truth is going to come out. So you don't have to try to wring anybody's hand, twist anybody's neck to get the truth. It's going to come out, honey, okay? All right, my lovelies. I'm going to see you guys in next month's timeless reading as well as a daily vibrations, okay? Now, if you're going to be joining me on Patreon, um, let me just do the timestamp and we can move on into this, okay?